For just a few cents, you can turn your Shark HF stick into a multi-band antenna. Keep watching and I'm gonna show you how. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. And today, I'm gonna to show you an easy and inexpensive way to get multiple bands out of your Shark HF stick antennas. Now, I've been using the Shark HF sticks for a couple of years now, and they're my preferred antenna for wintertime portable operations, as I can set them up and get them on the air with a minimum of fuss. Once the whips are set for your chosen frequency, there really isn't a whole lot you have to do. Just you know, screw the two pieces together, slap on a magnet mount, and uh, to the roof of your vehicle, you're pretty much on the air. But they do have a bit of a downside. The 40 and the 80 meter sticks are pretty narrow banded, so you're gonna have to pick and choose uh, what frequencies you're gonna wanna use if you're gonna be one on the phone or the data and CW portions of the bands. The sticks are also mono banded, so you need a separate antenna for each band you wish to operate. But today, I'm gonna show you a simple trick that can extend your bandwidth or give you multiple bands to operate on with a single stick. Now, Dave KZ9V shared this simple trick with me. Dave's always one to find a frugal solution to a problem, so I'm glad I'm able to share his simple method with you here today. Uh, when we look at the shark sticks, uh, they comprise of two components. The fiberglass section with a wire wrapped around it into a coil and the uh, steel whip. Uh, the base creates a set amount of inductance uh, for the band that you want to operate on. And the whip here can be adjusted somewhat for the chosen operating frequency within that particular band. Now thinking about that, uh, Dave had the idea that, well, maybe if we increase the length of the whip, uh, we can make this antenna resonate on other bands. It's simple enough. So with a bit of trial and error, he came up with the lengths necessary to turn the uh, 10 meter shark stick into a 12 meter antenna and the 15 meter shark stick into a 17 meter antenna. To do this, all you need is a stiff piece of wire and an alligator clip. To make the whip extenders, you need alligator clips and solid wire. Dave uses 14 gauge solid and I prefer the 12 gauge solid. Both the clips and the wire are available at your local home improvement store. You'll also need wire cutters, ruler, and a soldering iron. To make the 10 meter shark stick resonate on the 12 meter band, you will need approximately 12 and a half inches of wire. To use the 15 meter antenna on the 17 meter band, use about 15 and a half inches of wire. Remove the insulation from the end of the wire and solder it to the alligator clip. There's no need to remove all of the insulation, just the bit for soldering is enough. You can then crimp the wire to the alligator clip, but I find soldering it a little bit more durable. Now these lengths are approximate and they'll really depend on the tuning lengths of the whips. You may need a little less or a little more. It just depends. Uh, using an antenna analyzer uh, it will help you find that sweet spot for the particular setup. For example, um, Initially, the, the, the extender for the seven, to get onto the 17 meter band needed to be 15 and a half inches long. Well, I found out for my 15 meter shark stick, I needed 17 inches of extension total to get down into the 17 meter band. So the numbers are approximate. Uh, just a starting point uh, for your own whip extender. Maybe cut them a little bit long uh, when you start out and then when you're trimming them to get them into, to tune them up, um, you can just trim them back down. Uh, you can also use the extender for other bands. For example, uh, you can make an extender for, uh, to use the 20 meter whip on the 30 meter band. Or you can make an extender uh, so you can initially tune your shark stick on the phone portion of the band and then use the extension to um, bring that stick down to the 40 meter data and CW portion. Uh, same with the 75 meter whip. Uh, if you tune that antenna to the phone portion of the band, uh, your 12 inch whip that, extension that you made for your 10 meter antenna will drop the resonant point down to the data and the CW portion of the 80 meter band.
So for a couple of bucks, we've added four more bands and extended the bandwidth of our shark stick antennas, what a, which is a great deal. If you're like me and bought that five pack, this little trick adds so much versatility to your existing antennas. Well, how do they work? Well, last month I tested the 17 meter extender on my 15 meter shark stick. I had no problems making contacts during a parks on the air activation and received excellent signal reports all around on the 17 meter band. As for downsides, well, the only thing that I can think of is that these little alligator clips, you know, they're not the strongest, uh, so they may pop off in uh, windy situations. You also certainly won't be able to drive with them or if you take your shark sticks mobile. This solution is intended for stationary operation only. Well, there you have it. Are you a shark stick user? What tips do you have for these amazing antennas? Leave your comments or questions down below. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, hit like and subscribe. That's my indicator to produce more of these types of videos. But that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day in 73.